Hi, and welcome to North Vortex. It's been a while, hasn't it? But today I'm back to talk to you about the best doom metal album you've never listened to. That's right. In today's episode of Looking Back, we're moving away from all the black metals and death metals that I usually cover to celebrate the fifth anniversary of Wording's self-titled debut album. Anyone who knows me knows that since this album came out in 2016, I've never gotten tired of holding up the flag for it. And why, you ask? Allow me to explain. Wording is an American gothic funeral doom band and the word weird is the root of the modern English word weird um, and originally signified fate or in its respective deeper roots a becoming or passing. This self-titled debut album is a wonderful haze of lush and pastoral doom metal and I know what you're thinking, lush, pastoral? In doom metal? That's right! Rather than the crushing depression of funeral doom and the grandiose epics of traditional doom, Wording is a gentle and summary album. On here the band alternates between gothic verses with baritone cleans and grandiose choruses with choir-like vocal arrangements by vocalist Troy Schaefer, who you might also know from his work in similar projects like Kin It Her or Wreaths. And while most Doom focuses on a crushing and heavy sound, this album sounds light and ethereal and focuses on rich textures and melodies. The band actually strikes a perfect balance between a clear and spacious sound despite all the reverb and layering that is going on here. For example, the opening track on here, Poltergeist with its synth veils and soft guitar notes that lead through the verses to those cleansing choruses. Or on Longing's End, where the soaring, descending choirs contrast with the baritone clean vocals of the verses, as well as with the funereal organ and surging synthesizers that lead into the dramatic samples at the end of the track. The band also diversifies their sound with some shoegazy tremolos on Impression 1 and some added piano notes on uh, Steaming Blood Ascends Beyond the Moon, the latter of which is the longest and also the most complete feeling song on this album. Now, for the Spotify version of this album, there are two more songs after this point with A Hold the Wren and Impression 2, the latter of which brings back the soft tremolos and soaring clean vocals for this sub two minute breakup song. But the Bandcamp version of the album also includes the band's two track demo, Agony in Being. The reason why I mention this is not just because the band already made a huge step forward from their demo to their debut album, but also because the songs on this demo, while being a bit more firmly rooted in actual doom metal with more conventional vocals, um, already feature these abstract ambient segments and uh, many diverse synthesizers. The first song, Agony in Being One, features a piano along some somber acoustic guitars and synth layers with horns and strings. The second track features more Mediterranean acoustic guitars and violins and grows more and more abstract with these distant folky flutes. And while the lyrics for these two songs are nowhere to be found, the lyrics for the rest of the album are available on the album's Bandcamp page. And just like the music on here, and unlike a lot of other Doom, the lyrics here focus on creating a sense of yearning and desire over everything else. What's remarkable about these abstract lyrics about love and longing is that they are actually the product of word games that involved role playing, uh, text and image collage, and uh, performative ritual, as the band describes. And what I really want to underline with all of this is how uh, creative and innovative this album really is. Because while doom metal has a lot of distinctive styles, it seems like the rate at which the genre develops is even more glacial than its pace. Of course, there are bands that push the boundaries, but there are seemingly few new players that break into the game with fresh ideas. In light of this, it's almost shocking how an album that is so original, so innovative and so diverse could go almost completely unnoticed. I mean, goddamn, I'm like one of two listeners that this band has on Spotify or something like that. Sure. Not every band has to push the envelope and artists are obviously free to do whatever they want, but here I want to credit one of the most outstanding doom metal albums of the last decade because this is the type of album that I'd really like to hear more of. Doom metal holds a lot of untapped potential and many other subgenres like black metal have seen an immense amount of progress over the last decade and I think bands like Wording show that doom metal can do the same. Alright, that's it from me. What do you think about this album? Or what are some unusual doom metal albums that you think more people should listen to? Please let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. 
If you do, remember to hit the bell so you get notified about new videos as they come out. Over here right next to me you can find a playlist with all previous episodes of Looking Back. Thank you very much for watching, have a good one and I'll see you next time.